Testing, testing. All right. So in this question, we're given a probability distribution table, and it's dealing with the languages spoken in Canada. So Canada has two official languages, English and French, and then it's saying some other Canadians also speak an Asian or Pacific language or some other language. And here's the probability given in the table that if you choose a Canadian at random and ask what's their mother tongue or their native language, it says there's a 0.59 probability that the person you select will say English is their mother tongue, a 0.18 probability that they'll say French is their mother tongue, a 0.07 probability that they'll say an Asian or Pacific language is their native tongue, and then we've got a question mark written here for other. So we don't know from this table directly uh, what proportion of people or what the probability is that a person chosen at random would say they have another mother tongue. So that's what the first question here is asking. What probability should replace the question mark in this distribution? So the key fact we need to keep in mind to answer this question is that whenever we're looking at a probability distribution, the sum of all probabilities in the sample space should equal 1. So if we were to add this 0.59 plus the 0.18 plus the 0.07 plus the question mark together, that should come out to be equal to 1. So we can turn that around to solve for this question mark. We can subtract these three numbers from 1 and see what we get. So let's show our work there. So we're going to take 1 minus that, or 1 minus the 0.59. Oh, that should be a point, not a comma. Sorry. 1 minus, well, it just looks like a comma, but it's a point. 1 minus 0.59 minus 0.18. It should be a 0.18 minus 0.07. When you do that out on your calculator, on your TI calculator, you can write it in just like that. The number you should get is 0.16. So that's the um, per probability given as a decimal. Notice the question is asking for it as a percentage. So when we write it in, here in our question, we're going to convert to a percentage by multiplying by 100 or by sliding the decimal point over two places. And we're going to write in there. We could just say our answer there is going to be 16%. Alright, so now let's look at the second part of the question, and let's also fill in that 16 here, because now we know that number that's a question mark should really be a 0.16. Alright, so for the second part of the question, they ask, what is the, oops, here we can make that big again. I thought I just undo it. Sorry about that. Pause the video while I try to get that back. Okay. All right, welcome back. So now we're going to look at part two of the question. What is the probability that a Canadian's mother tongue is not English? So to answer this one, we need to remember that whenever we see that word not, that's telling us our we can use our complement rule for probability. So the probability, if we want to use probability notation, we can think of the probability of an event not happening, or we could say of not. English can be calculated by doing 1 minus the probability of English. We'll just say ENG for English. So probability of not English and probability of English, which that's equal to 1 minus the probability of English. So there's that English. Right. And if we look at our table, what is the probability of English? It's 0.59. So to calculate this, let's type it in. That'll be a little bit easier. When we calculate that there, it's going to be equal to 1 minus that 0.59. When we do that out, oh, that should be a minus, sorry. 1 minus the 0.59. When we do that out, 1 minus the 0.59. Is equal to 0.41. So we're getting the decimal answer 0.41, but we want to write that again as a percentage. So we multiply by 100, and that means there's a 41% probability that if we choose a Canadian at random, their mother tongue is not English, 41% probability for that event. Okay, there you go.